We are doing apartment inspections. So let's check freezer needs maintenance. Let's see what's going on. The meat is kind of frozen, but not quite. It is cold, but not, it's, the food is saggy, it's soft, so. I hear the fan in the back, but let's make sure. So I can see the fan running. I don't know if you do. Right there. So the fan is running. Um. Another thing you look for in the freezer is um, frost. If you see frost, build up frost in any of the walls, uh, there might be something wrong with the defrosting cycle. Uh, but I don't see anything in the walls. You usually you see it, you could see it. It's not ice, but it's frost. And when that happens, when you see the frost, uh, there might be something wrong with the defrosting cycle, which it might be the thermostat, the heater itself, or the timer uh, but in this case everything looks fine the fan is working so let's look somewhere else I don't have a thermometer but it's I mean it's uh, the fan is working but it's not cold enough so let's down here I can feel the air so but it's not cold enough so now it seems like the thermostats are working this refrigerator has the condenser in the back so this is the co uh, the condenser it's right there and we have the compressors here so let's make sure the fan for the condenser is working so it's quarter of an inch screws and there's about six Sounds like it wants to work. The fan is not working. But wait, what? What? Oh my God! Look at that. That's a dead mouse. Oh my God! So the mouse got caught in the fan blades, and the motor is going in overload because it cannot run because there's an obstacle there. Mickey Mouse right there. So compressor, condenser, and the fan for the condenser to cool it off. So we're gonna unplug it, retrieve the mouse, and clean the condenser. So that's our friend. We're gonna remove him. Right. Now we're going to disinfect the area. So what happens when the fan doesn't work in the condenser? So if you remember the refrigeration cycle, out of the compressor is going to be high temperature, high pressure, superheated vapor. And it's going to pass through the condenser and the idea is to condense that vapor into liquid so if the fan is not working it's not going to accomplish that and by the time uh, the liquid gets through the metering device and through the evaporator it's not going to flash out uh, properly and it's going to be it's not going to be a heat transfer it's not going to be saturated enough to give out uh, the coolness properties that an evaporator has. So that's why it's not gonna be cool enough. And this is the condenser. 
We're gonna clean it. Okay, so I cleaned the um, condenser. Now I'm gonna plug it. Hopefully, the motor still okay. So just watch here. And the motor is burnt. It's stuck. So we're gonna unplug it again and remove the motor. Let's try this five sixteens. So right there, we have to, uh, there's a tab there that is hooked into here. So we have to undo it right there. And there's another one in the back. So we're gonna unplug it from here. And this goes inside. We're gonna remove this cover here. It's holding the bracket. Comes in. Just like the control boards. Place this motor. So, um, this one is the bad one, and the motor is not working anymore. So, I went to my one of my other buildings, and I had this one, which I previously removed from a good refrigerator. It had another problem, so it wasn't. I, it was it didn't make sense to buy a new part 
So I removed the good parts and this is part of that. So you save the company another $80. And make sure to put it back, make sure you feed this wire first because it's gonna be connected over here. And just be careful not to break the housing. So it was very tricky. So you have to hook him right there. And then you have to push the hell out of it. Push it into the left, to the wall, to that wall. And then up, it's, it's harder. It's hard, so you have to push. And this one, I put it through that notch under this plate and then the notch was there and then I just put the wire like that so now we're gonna plug this if you see it right there another screw right here So now I'm gonna plug it to see if it works. It worked on the other one, so it should work on this one. Look at that. It's working. So yeah. So this fan um, cools off the condenser. Okay, now we are done. Let's put all the screws back. Let's clean up. And uh, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, see you next video. Have a good one.